Hi everyone, so this is a quick video demonstration of a project that I've been working on which is part of my embedded systems module for my second year in university. So I'm just going to display how the project works. I can't go into the code or anything because it is for an assignment, but I can show you how the, the project actually works. So if I plug it in, you're going to see that it's going to pop up on here saying enter the time. So what this is, on this circuit here we've got a temperature sensor, we've got some LEDs, some buttons which we use to set the time an RGB LED here and a buzzer here so the idea is that you set the time on here and then we've got it so that here will be counting in seconds once you've set the time and then it will be recording the temperature at the same time so the time will be displayed on the screen and like I saw with the temperature and then we obviously set the time so we can set it to whatever we want so right now it is uh, 17 minutes past midnight so what we'll do is we'll set the time to 17 minutes past midnight and then it'll count in seconds and we'll also record the temperature as well. And then what happens is if the temperature gets too high, this LED will go red and the buzz will start to uh, buzz as well. If the temperature is too low, meaning cool, this LED will go blue, the buzzer won't make a sound. If uh, the temperature is just about right, so i.e. I think it's 28 degrees, then the LED will go green. So here, these two LEDs are just status LEDs. So red means that we haven't set the time yet and green means that we've set the time. So if I just want to set the time, let's say the time was midnight, I can just press this set button here. And then now here you can see it's gone to, uh, that status LED has gone green. This LED is blue. So the program's running. The timer is counting now, 10 seconds in, and this LED is blue. So here's my temperature sensor. If I put my finger on it now, it will start to heat up and you can see the temperature is rising 29 degrees so the LED is gone green and then once it gets over 30 the LED will go red and then the buzz will go there you go over 30 degrees and the buzz is going if I take my finger off and then the temperature will start to drop once it gets to 30 so you can see it was on 30 degrees and the buzzer didn't go off so below 30, green is considered the okay temperature. And then once it gets below 29 degrees, then it will go to blue. There we go. So let's show you how to actually set the time because obviously the time right now is not one minute past midnight, it's 18 minutes past midnight, all right? So if we reset the program, now our LED has gone red again to say that the, the time hasn't been set. So here, these top three buttons, this is hours. So I can set the hours here. Minutes and seconds. And then these bottom three, the same hours, minutes and seconds, but to decrement. So four, three, two, one, zero, and then to 23, because obviously there's only 24 hours. And then three, two, zero, and then that should go to 59, right? There you go. And again, four, three, two, one, zero, and then 59. So from here I could set the time and then you can see it immediately ticked back over to midnight. So let's reset it again. And then let's put in the current time. So 19 minutes. So I can press the button a bunch of times as well. I can also hold it down and it will carry on to a variety of different ways. And then so let's say it's 19, okay, it's 20 now. So we'll do 20 and a few seconds. Just try and get it to change to 21 at the same time. So we'll say it's 20 and 30 seconds. And then obviously, like I said, I could decrement it as well. So then I press the set button, LED goes to green, and starts tracking the temperature. So there's obviously a lot that you could do with this kind of project, and I think it's really cool. So we'll see if we can get it. And I've actually run the I run this program for 24 hours to see if it would keep with the time, and it, it did. It kept with it to the to the second as well. So that changed to 21. So I was slightly a little bit off. Yeah, 59, 21. So if I reset the program, 
and then I could 23 58 and 57 seconds set oops my buttons come out there and so you can see it ticked over to 59 seconds 59 minutes fine and likewise as you've seen already when it goes to 59 it will just immediately tick over to 000, zero, zero midnight and yeah, that's it. Uh, I don't think there's anything else to show you. Just make sure that the temperature works. And it's very, very responsive, this temperature sensor. So once it gets over 30. And the buzzer will just carry on going off as well. For as long as that remains above 30. And you can see how you could do some really cool applications with this. And it's very responsive. Look, I let go of it and immediately it starts dropping again. Cool. Alright, that's it for me. Thanks for watching.